Hello children, how are you? I am Masood Fatma. I will teach you social studies. This video is for the students of class 5th. And today I will teach you the next topics of the, the remaining topics. I mean of chapter 11 that is India, climate and vegetation. So let's continue with the topic that is importance of forest so open your page on 79 and see the topic that is importance of forest okay first of all i will read and then i will explain it to you here are six importance written in your book okay please see in that forest conserves soil by checking soil erosion forests help in rainfall Second point is, they provide us with timber for building houses and furniture. They also provide firewood, wood pulp, herbs and raisins. They provide shelter to wild animals and fodder to domestic animals. Forests provide us with oxygen. Sixth one, last point is, forests keep the atmosphere cool. Now see. Uh, you know children that how important forests are for us okay and they are the most it means most important natural resources on the earth and we cannot think of a perfect life without these forests okay they cover our earth like a green blanket and these forests not only produce innumerable material goods but also provide us with several environmental things which are essential for life they provide us with life-giving gas you know life-giving gas respiratory gas which is very important for all living beings. And what is that gas? That is oxygen. You know that, no? And from where we get these oxygen? We get from trees. Okay? And uh, now see how. How we get from trees you know now you must have studied in class fourth also that what is photosynthesis now, trees produce oxygen by photosynthesis okay which is very important for life okay and all living beings need this that's why they are also called, uh, this gas is also called uh, lungs of the environment. Okay. And also called like factory of gas. Trees are called the factory of oxygen. So, and uh, another importance is that they protect the earth from global warming okay the main greenhouse gas okay the main greenhouse gas that is carbon dioxide okay is absorbed by the forest okay and as a raw material for photosynthesis and thus they help in reducing the problem of global warming the carbon dioxide is all absorbed by the the greenhouse gas that comes out that is carbon dioxide and it is absorbed by the trees in the forest and thus they help in preventing us 
preventing the earth from global warming okay then uh, forests forests provide us a large number of things which include timber firewood then pulp wood food items gum oil rubber fibers bamboo then uh, they are most important thing is that they are the shelter to wild animals to several animals they are shelter these forests okay and we get medicines also such important herbs medicinal herbs are also found in the forest and uh, see in the book that it checks soil erosion it checks soil erosion how it binds the soil the root of the trees they just bind means hold the root or um, the soil and that helps in that prevents and helps in uh, prevent the uh, soil from erosion from eroding okay now next topic is protection of forest so a thing that is so important for us that is that gives uh, life a life is not possible without these we get so many things from forest so protection to is very important okay so now i am reading protection of forest a country should have one third of its total area under forest however india has only one fifth of its area under forest this is because the forest have been cleared to meet the needs of the growing population we have to stop cutting down the trees we need to plant more and more trees in the past the villagers of uttarakhand put their arms around the trees when the woodcutters came to cut the trees they did not move until the woodcutters left this incident became famous as the chipko movement sundarlal bahuguna is the most important leader of this movement one mahotsav is also celebrated every year and a large number of trees are planted so children forest protection forest protection is concerned with the preservation or can say improvement of forest and prevention and control of damage to forest how by natural or man made causes okay you know children how we depend on forest for survival means forest have been source of livelihood for millions of plants and animals and means all living beings okay and uh, means from the air we breathe to the wood we use we get from where we get from forest okay so now the group of trees now children the group of trees form forest okay and as such in order to protect forest we have to stop rise of deforestation okay in the face of urbanization means you have to do something to control deforestation and why deforestation is done why people are cutting deforestation means cutting of the trees why people are cutting trees 
for making big buildings for urbanization so we have to stop that uh, i know we cannot uh, stop it completely but at least we can control it by keeping a check okay and promote a forestation a forestation means planting trees instead of cutting trees and if we are cutting two trees we must plant at least three or four trees in that way it will be balanced okay so because we need more and more trees okay and uh, they should a uh, balance these trees these trees help us to create balance in a uh, and to reduce the effects of deforestation we have to do something Uh, see in your book, it's given that one third of a country should be under forest. But uh, uh, we are doing so, or uh, a country is uh, um, one third part of a country is under forest. No, it is one fifth part of a country is the area the to of the total area is. under forest not one third so why this uh, fraction we are getting why this number we are getting because of deforestation so what we have to do we have to check these and try to stop or control this increasing of deforestation okay people are cutting trees and uh, constructing big buildings malls apartments and not bothered about the environment okay and you must have heard about the movement about that movement uh, it was known as chipko movement why it was called chipko movement it was against uh, it was a movement against deforestation and why was it called chipko movement because when people came to cut the trees the people of that area they just put their arms around the trees and they did not leave until those people left that place so this uh, the woodcutter uh, woodcutters left then they moved from there and that's why that is called chipko movement because they just put their arms round the trees means they stuck to the trees chipko means stuck they stuck to the trees unless the woodcutters left the place okay so you know when the this incident took place in uttarakhand okay and uh, one mahotsav is celebrated every year it's uh, uh, like a one mahotsav it's uh, an annual one week tree planting festival one week people keep on uh, planting the trees it's a annual one week tree planting festival in india okay annually it is done so and thousands of saplings of different species are planted but it is done in order to uh, and it is done to in order to conserve forest why this uh, festival is celebrated in order to conserve forest in order to protect forest okay and then next comes the wildlife 
वाइल्ड लाइफ ना आई एम गोइंग टू रीड अबाउट द वाइल्ड लाइफ हाउ मीन्स बिकॉज ऑफ कटिंग ऑफ ट्रीज हाउ सम एनिमल्स स्टार्टेड टू एक्सटिंक्ट ओके बिकॉज ऑफ कटिंग ऑफ ट्रीज ओनली ओके चिल्ड्रेन लेफर स्टाइल रीड वाइल्ड लाइफ फॉरेस्ट प्रोवाइड शेल्टर टू वाइल्ड एनिमल्स इन द पास्ट पीपल हंटेड एनिमल्स एज अ हॉबी इट लेट टू द एक्सटेंशन ऑफ मेनी एनिमल स्पीसीज द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया हैज बैंड हंटिंग सेवरल स्टेप्स हैव बीन टेकन टू प्रिजर्व वाइल्ड लाइफ मेनी वाइल्ड लाइफ सेंचुरीज आर सेंचुरीज एंड नेशनल पार्कस हैव बीन डिवेलप्ड दीज पार्कस एंड सेंचुरीज आर ऑल्सो विजिटेड बाई द टूरिस्ट द वाइल्ड एनिमल्स आर अलाउड टू लिव इन द नेचुरल एनवायरमेंट एलिफेंट्स राइनोज टाइगर्स एंड डियर आर फाउंड इन द फॉरेस्ट ऑफ द नॉर्थ ईस्ट द रॉयल बेंगाल टाइगर्स लिव इन सुंदरबंस गिर फॉरेस्ट ऑफ गुजरात आर फेमस फॉर एशियाटिक लाइन रेड पांडा एंड मर्स डियर reptiles like snakes crocodiles turtles and turtle are also found in forest presently india has around 100 national parks and over 500 wild life sanctuaries now see children wild life wild life uh, you know that uh, forests are natural shelter for wild animals and these wild life play an important role in balancing the environment you know wild life provide stability to different processes of nature we are also a part of wild life to maintain ecological balance on earth okay and in the past hunting was an occupation then when the people became advanced cultured sophisticated what happened it became their hobby and it resulted in the extinction of species of animals then though now hunting has been banned by the government of india and around 500 wildlife sanctuaries and national parks are developed like cobbet national park in uttarakhand then periyar wildlife sanctuary in kerala sundarban national park in west bengal kaziranga national park in assam then kanha national park in madhya pradesh then uh jim corbett national park in the is the oldest national park in india the, about these parks you have read in your gk children okay and uh, in the forest of north east you can see elephants rhinos deer tigers etc and in sundarbans the royal bengal tigers are found okay then uh, in gujarat in gir forest in gir forest what is found asiatic lion you can see asiatic lion red panda mus deer you have seen black pandas na red pandas are found in Uh, gir forest okay and uh, many reptiles like uh, uh, snakes crocodiles turtles and turtle okay these are the animals and reptiles found in these forests so these are important uh, forests are important natural resources for us okay so now children that's all for this chapter and uh,
chapter 11 india climate and vegetation okay so please learn glossary and important points that is given on page number 80 question answer and exercises i'll be uploading in the assignment file and so please go through the assignment file and update yourself okay till then thank you and bye